How to solve x raised to the power of negative n. First, let's go back to parts of power of number. There is exponent or n, the number of times x multiplies by itself, and base or x or the variable or number being multiplied. Automatically, x raised to the power of 0 equals 1 x raised to the power of 1 equals 1 times x, x raised to the power of 2 equals 1 times x times x, x raised to the power of 3 equals 1 times x times x times x, and so on and so forth. But what about x raised to the power of negative n? Can you multiply a number various times negatively? And that's why in this video, we will tackle about the negative power rule, where it states that x raised to the power of negative n equals 1 over x raised to the power of n. How though? To elaborate, x raised to the power of n is a reciprocal of x raised to the power of n. Whereas x raised to the power of positive n means to increase, and x raised to power of negative n means decrease. In other terms, x raised to power of positive n means multiplication and x raised to power of negative n is division. And inversely so, x raised to power of negative 1 equals 1 divided by x, x raised to power of negative 2 equals 1 divided by x divided by x, and x raised to power of negative 3 equals 1 divided by x divided by x divided by x, and so on and so forth. In fraction form, x raised to power of negative 1 equals 1 over x. x raised to power of negative 2 equals 1 over x times x. And x raised to power of negative 3 equals 1 over x times x times x and so on and so forth. Let's try and check if the law of exponent and the long method has the same answer. With 4 raised to the power of negative 3, let's try the long method. 1 divided by 4 divided by 4 divided by 4 equals 0.15625. With the law exponent, that would be 1 over 4 cubed or 1 over 64, which equates to the first method. Now, let's try on solving some problems. First, 3 raised to the power of negative 5. First thing to do is to separate or 1 over 3 fifth that would be equal to 1 over 243. What if the situation was like 1 over 3 raised to the power of negative 5? Well, just reciprocate the number that has the negative exponent with it. So that would be 3 raised to the power of 5 equals 243. But what if the whole fraction is raised to the power of? Well, just as easy, just reciprocate and then distribute the exponent and then multiply. Next, 2x raised to power of negative 7. Again, reciprocate only the term with negative exponent. So that will be equal to 2 over x raised to power of 7. Next, the quantity of 2x7 equals 2 raised to power of negative 7 and x raised to power of negative 7 on which you distributed the exponent to both terms of the parenthesis. And that would be equal to 1 over 2 raised to power of 7 and x raised to power of 7 or 1 over 128 x raised to power of 7. Next up, the quantity of x cubed raised to power of negative 4. So what we're going to do here is just follow the other law of exponent, which is to multiply it. So that would be x raised to the power of negative 12. Inverting it, that would be 1 over x raised to the power of 12, the final answer. Another situation, x cubed times x raised to the power of negative 4. Again, following the law of exponent, which is adding the exponent with the same base, the answer would be x raised to the power of negative 1. And with the negative power rule, the final answer will be equal to 1 over x. Another situation, the quantity of 2x raised to the power of negative 3 raised to the power of 4. First step would be distributing the exponent. And that would be equal to 2 raised to the power of 4 and x raised to the power of negative 12 from negative 3 times 4. And now you can simplify. 
2 raised to power of 4 equals 32, and x raised to power of negative 12 need to be inverted, so the final answer would be 32 over x raised to power of 12. Next, 2 plus 3 times the quantity of x cubed times y raised to power of negative 4 the quantity raised to power of 0. Here, from the zero power rule, any term that has exponent of a zero would be equal to one. So that's two plus three times one equals five. Next problem, x raised to power of negative three over x raised to power of four. Following the quotient power rule, it would be x raised to power of negative three minus four equals x raised to power of negative seven. And with the negative power rule, 1 over x raised to power of 7 would be the final answer. Next up, the quantity of 3x raised to power of negative 2 quantity over the quantity of y raised to power of negative 6 times z raised to power of 4 quantity. Now, how are we going to deal with these many negative exponents? Well, easy. Just reciprocate the terms or variables with the negative exponents, like the negative power rule statement. Analyzing, the final answer would be 3y raised to power of 6 over x squared z raised to power of 4. Next question, the quantity of x raised to power of negative 1, y squared the quantity over y. Again, with the quotient power rule, we are going to subtract the exponent of the variables with the same basis. So that's x raised to the power of negative 1 times y raised to the power of 2 minus 1. Equals x raised to the power of negative 1 times y. With the negative power rule, our final answer would be y over x. Now, with our last example, let's try a more complicated problem. x raised to the power of negative 2 over y raised to the power of negative 3. Integrating the negative power rule, that would be 1 over x squared over 1 over y cubed. Dividing fractions, that would be 1 over x squared times y cubed over 1 equals y cubed over x squared. And that's it. I hope you figure out how to solve x raised to the power of negative n from this video. Please consider and like, share, and subscribe on our channels, Elato Kali Vlog and ARMV to Kali Vlog for more videos. Thank you.